I need you to go to your YouTube dashboard right now and turn on these four hidden YouTube settings I'm about to show you right now. These settings are the reasons why your videos are not getting recommended and not even being pushed by YouTube to be seen by people from different parts of the world. These settings are simple yet very powerful. In fact, they are too simple that a lot of times you've been ignoring them. One thing that is very certain about getting views on YouTube is settings. When it's done the right way, not only will you help YouTube algorithm to start showing your videos to the right people, you will also be able to get these people see your videos, stay back and watch your videos. This alone will help you get more views, more subscribers and watch hours as soon as possible. You already know that when it comes to getting YouTube algorithm to recommend your videos, to push your videos for many more people to see it, you can control that through your settings. And that's exactly what this video is going to show you. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Chamaka and on this channel, we talk about making money and growing your YouTube channel. So if this is the kind of thing you love, go on and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it so you get notified each time I publish new videos. I'm so excited because I want to show you how simple settings you turn on in the dashboard of your studio will help you get extra 1,000 to 3,000 from what you currently get on your videos. So let's dive straight into it. The first setting is distribution setting. This simple yet very powerful settings is all about you deciding and determining how far YouTube should push your videos to who and who YouTube should push your videos. This setting is hidden in the dashboard of your studio. You turn it on. When you turn it on the right way, it means that your videos are going to be shown to everywhere, everyone. When you turn on the wrong button, your videos will be restricted, which means it's not going to be shown to everyone. This alone can actually determine whether your videos are going to get extra 1,000, 10,000, 20,000 views just because you turn this button on. So I'm going to share my screen with you and show you exactly where this setting is and how you can find it. So while uploading the video, if you scroll down to this place where it says license and distribution, you're going to see where it says distribution and if you touch this here as you can see here there are two options you are given the first one says everywhere and the second one says make this video available only on monetized platforms if you turn on the second button which you may have done you will find out that your videos will be distributed only on few platforms which are limited platforms just a very few platforms are monetized platform so what i'm going to do is that you're going to select this one that says everywhere this way, your video can be shown to anyone, anywhere. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Google, everywhere. So people can actually share your videos on different platforms and people watch these videos. If you choose the second button that says, make this video available only on monetized platforms. When someone shares your video on platforms that are not monetized, people can't watch your video. People can't access your video from these platforms. So you know what to do? You need to go back right now and make sure that your own is turned on as everywhere. That's the first sentence. Now let's move on to the second sentence. You can see how powerful this is, right? Well, that's not all. I have three more other settings to show you in this video. The second sentence is license. This one is all about you taking control of your video. Who can actually download your video? who can use and reuse your videos. If you turn the wrong button on, anybody can download your video, use it the way they like without your permission, and even go on to make money off of your videos. Yet you can't do anything because the settings is where you granted them permission to use your videos anyhow. So let me go on and show you exactly what the setting is and how to turn it on the right way. If you look at this, you see where it says, license standard youtube license and if you touch this you are going to see the second option creative commons attribution let me explain what this means standard youtube license means that you have the absolute right over this video nobody can download the video and reuse your video without your permission and this is exactly what the setting should be and the second sentence that says creative common attribution if you turn these settings on, it means that you are granting general public the permission to download your videos and re-upload your videos. If your settings is turned on as Creative Commons 
and you don't like the idea of people downloading your videos using it and even making money off of your videos without your permission you need to turn these buttons on so any video that is marked creative commons means that the owner of the video has granted general public the right to use and reuse the video as they wish so if that's not what you want i need you to come down to this place now and select the one that says standard youtube license and it's going to apply now i hope you're getting value from this video if you enjoy what you are seeing go on and give this video a thumbs up i'll appreciate that moving on to the third settings these settings will help you get more views and subscribers unlimited when you turn these settings on the right way youtube is going to show your videos to everyone everywhere and allowing them to watch your videos in any language of their choice so with this there won't be any language barrier automatic dubbing means that you are asking youtube to translate your videos in different languages so people can actually watch it in any language of their choice every time you see a viral video and in the comment section people are commenting in different languages this setting is turned on for their videos so you need to go on and turn this settings on right now to allow people to watch your video in different languages i've actually made this video here talking about this in detail with these settings people can actually turn your video on and you will start speaking their language to turn this button on all you need is to scroll down while uploading your videos you come to this place where it says automatic dubbing and make sure that this box is checked if this box is checked, it means that people can watch your video in any language of your choice. Now, if you don't want to do this every video you upload, you can actually go to your upload default and turn it on once and for all. So every time you upload a video, this button will be automatically turned on for the video. Now, you can also go on to review the dubbing manually or you leave it at automatic. And the fourth settings you need to turn on right now on your dashboard to help YouTube start recommending your videos to your audience is embedding. Embedding is basically granting YouTube permission to notify people who are subscribed to your channel that you have a new video. So with a click of a button, they're going to come over here and watch your videos. This button is so simple yet it's very powerful that you need to turn it on once you upload every video. This way, as soon as you upload video on YouTube, people are going to start getting text message notification from YouTube that you have a new video. All they need is just click on that link and they will come over here and start watching your video as soon as it's uploaded. And you already know that the very moment your video starts getting views as soon as it's uploaded, you will trigger YouTube algorithm in your favor. This way, YouTube algorithm is willing to promote your videos, to recommend the videos for many more people to see it. So to activate this button, all you need is to come over here, scroll down to this place, where it says um, allow embedding and you're going to go on and turn it on turn this one on too now this way not only will your videos be shown to people who are subscribed to your channel other people who have websites and other platforms can actually tag your videos on their website with this embedding on their website people can visit their website see your videos on their website and from their website they will come over here on youtube and watch that videos these are four powerful settings you need to turn on right now that will help you start getting a lot of views and subscribers if you've not turned them on go on right now and turn them on i hope you got value from this see you in my next video bye